Hello, welcome to Kelly Beach. Check out the slave review. <laughs> All right, so that little guy you just saw, that is Ole, and Ole is a musician and drummer, and he really likes studios, so he was over here with his little brother and uh, wanted to help in any way, shape, or form, so I let him do the introduction, and I also let him help me decide with an unbiased view to uh, see if he likes one certain mix better than another. The official release is uh, a mix with EQ8 and, you know, some various plugins, but nothing too exciting. It's basically just, you know, really digital stuff. And then uh, the Slate mix is, well, analog modeled, sexy analog stuff. And uh, then we have the, uh, the rough mix as well. And what I want to do with you guys is listen back to the track and go between the two tracks, the official release and the slate mix, and also sometimes go to the rough draft just to like clean your, your palette a little bit of what it sounded like before and to have a little understanding of what the mix did uh, as well. So you can see the similarities, or see, you can hear the similarities and the differences. And at the end of that, if you could put in the comment section below which mix you like better, then at the same time, you will answer the question of, is it worth it to get the Slate Digital Everything Bundle for, I think, 14 bucks a month. So that's really not that bad. Uh, just a quick one for the nerds. I loudness match this by ears uh, because the LUFS, RMS, K-System, VU meter, they all have a... Um, a preference for either bass or for treble or for mid or getting the mean or getting you know so basically it's a different process and i thought to myself it's a if it's exactly the same song i'm just gonna loudness match it via my ears because then it's a little bit more fair in my own head so it's not perfect but it'd be good regardless let's get started
right, so that was really interesting. Um, so with the Slate Digital Mix, I noticed that there was a lot of top end sheen. And uh, I think that's, and it sounds like overall really poppy and producey. And I think that's because I took the Slate Digital plugins and I just really pushed into it just to see what can I do, what can I do, do I like this, do I like that? And just throwing things at it over and over just to see what it does. And you can see all that in the previous episodes. And with the um, original release, I took, I think, 45 minutes and I only uh, went with EQ8 and just kind of, you know, went with the feeling and went through it. And I, with that one, I get more of a, a warm feeling, more of an analog feeling. So that's a weird one. Um, and analog and warm, that is pretty much a synonym to a little bit dull and a little bit, you know, cut at the top. Now... The reason why I think I, the Slate Digital is so sheeny is because every single plugin that you use is going to automatically already cut So as soon, at the top end. So as soon as you start pushing it up, you also start pushing, uh, you have to do like 5 dB. So if you have a 2.5 dB, you first have to put up and then you have to put it up again. So you put like 5 dB up just to get a little bit of top end out. And with all the analog modeled gear, you also get the harmonics that add into this sexy like feel that it has. Now, to prove that point, because it sounds insane, to prove that point, I have a little uh, plugin company here called Plugin Doctor, and this actually shows uh, what I'm talking about. For instance, if I take the FGA, which is an API unit that's uh, been uh, done, the FGA, what it does is just by turning it on, it instantly gives you a, what is this, a 2.4 dB increase, and it gives you a cut from 500 hertz going down. Now, if you would then, you know, fix that, uh, as in to make it at the zero line, what it actually does is, if you really look at it normally, you get a cut at the top from 500 hertz down. Now, the same thing happens with the FGN, for instance. You get a cut and it goes down. Um, but the beauty of it is, because it's analog, you get harmonics as well. So you get these gorgeous harmonics popping in. And without, that's just how it looks. So with a normal EQ, that's just what you get. You don't get any, you know, extra harmonics. And this this one, you get, poof, that. So when you do then start adding a little bit of extra top end, you can see it coming in. And it's quite nice. So that's really nice. Not every single plugin does this. So if you take the 401, you get some uh, harmonics. If you take the uh, uh, monster, you get harmonics. You take the monster, you can even see this EQ curve. It's absolutely mental. And that's the beauty of it as well. You really have to listen to Slate Digital. You can't just look with an EQ parameter and then see everything that's going on, like with EQ8. Uh, you really have to pay attention to like, okay, does this sound better? Okay, do I need to do that? Do I need to do that? And I think that is a main plus for Slate Digital. The only thing that annoys me about Slate Digital is the interface. The thing that really gets to me is I, that I have to use my mouse. So if I go to the FGN here and I want to give a little bit more top end, I first have to go to it, click on it, and then check if I like it, click on and off here. That's a little bit annoying. If we would compare that to, for instance, the Sheps uh, 73, which is the same modeled uh, plugin thing here, this one does this. With my keyboard, I can instantly cut through and it's really fast. So I am always working with my keyboard and my mouse. So I would suggest if you're a keyboard mouse guy to also give uh, the Chef 73, if you're interested in the Neve, uh, a try as well. But that is just a small part. Uh, and I know you can get the FG Raven or Raven or whatever it's called, uh, which is just this like big ass iPad, but I'm not into touching screens. I want my keyboards to just, you know, work with the buttons um, on the screen or if it could be in any way possible, give a different GU, uh, GUI like uh, like this, because this would be absolutely made. Imagine getting the Neve sound, but you have the Fab Filter uh, GUI where you can just instantly, you know, change cues and things like that. That would be that would be good. All right, so that is it overall. The virtual mix rack or, or the uh, plugin company Slate Digital. I definitely suggest you check it out. It's only $14.99 a month, if I'm not mistaken. The sound out of it is great. I will want to do a shootout between other uh, plugin companies to see 
if I would mix the same way, yes or no, if I would, you know, use analog shaped gear, but I do really like it. I do like how it came out. I don't really suggest it for uh, mastering per se, because that FGX just, just does the way too much uh, in one go. Uh, but I do for uh, mixing and flavors and harmonics. It's really nice. It's just, it's just good. So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed today's episode. I'll see you guys again soon. Make sure to subscribe and like and comment. And um, yeah, don't forget to say hi to Ola. <laughs> All right, peace out. Bye.